Hi, I'm Bill Hers. I'm a corporate magician, which means that I perform primarily for corporate events. I do about 200 events a year for major corporations throughout the world. If you want to be in the corporate market, you first of all have to know what's going on in the corporate world. So along with all the magic books that I read and all the magic DVDs, I, I read the Wall Street Journal and I read the New York Times and I watch the business shows just so that I know what they're talking about. The second thing is, as much as the companies say they want cutting edge and we want the newest thing, they want safety. I look like everybody else in the office and that's what I want. I want them to go, hey, that's Bill from marketing or Bill from accounting. I've had a million people come up to me and say, uh, you, you should quit your job here and go do magic full time. And that's exactly what I want. Nobody wants to be the first. When they said, who else have you worked for? And I hadn't worked for anyone else. Finally, I said, well, I've worked for IBM and Nestle's and Esso or Exxon back then. And uh, oh, well then if you've worked for them, then it's fine, come on in. They want to go with something that's safe and secure. Now that doesn't mean the show and the magic has to be safe and secure, but the person that you're presenting is a very safe and secure person. Well, to me, the real astonishment is the instantaneous. When it, ha when it looks like it's happened spur of the moment, but, but was planned in advance, where maybe you have an extra something in your pocket and nobody else knows you have it, and they say, do something with this, and boom, you split it and make it into two. The astonishing moments happen when people aren't expecting them or expect that of you. I take chances all the time in my show. Now, I, don't, I have tons of outs, but re what really makes it work is when you take chances and you nail it, and they think what they've just seen is absolutely impossible. The first person I ever saw perform, believe it or not, was Slidini. And I couldn't believe what I saw. I had no explanation of how this man was making coins melt through the table or cigarettes coming back together. It was the most magical thing I've ever seen. And that's the kind of feeling I want to have on my audience that they've seen something that there's no explanation for. I think finding yourself is the easiest thing in the world, and that is just be you. I can look at a trick and go, that's me or it's not me. It might be a great trick. And that's the key to the whole thing is you've got to know who you are. And it's not the trick, it's the personality of the person. All of my tricks are relationship-based tricks. They have to do with me interacting with the people. Each person is different, therefore each show is gonna be different. People ask me how long is the show, and I say, oh, somewhere between. And the reason I can't give them an exact time is it's based on relationships and the interactive uh, dialogue that's going on by, between myself and the people on stage. I never know where it's going, and that's the best thing, and it always works out the best.